Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and this week I'm talking about the books review area. This is actually the fourth video in my current series. The links to the other videos are in the description. And so we are still in the transactions review tab, but this week we're going to be talking about the open issues section, which is right around this area right here. Now, before we dive in, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, share it with others, like it. I do videos once per week on various topics relating to QuickBooks Online or Desktop, primarily geared towards accountant users, but anyone that wants to be a member of my channel is welcome to subscribe. Now, with that said, we're going to talk again, like I said, about the open issues area. And this is the area where you're going to take care of the issues that QuickBooks has found. And so there's basically four areas in here. And I'm going to roll these up so that you can see them real quick. Because you can roll these up so that way you can see them right here. We have uncategorized transactions that have been identified. We also have transactions without payees that have been identified. We also have undeposited funds issues that may have been identified or any unapplied payments that may have been identified. We're still on my test file here. And so let's go through each of these really quick, except for we won't be doing the unapplied payments because we don't have any here. So at any rate, we're going to go ahead and open up this uncategorized transactions. And this is basically showing that these are the transactions which need to be categorized other than uncategorized income or uncategorized expense or whatever. And as you can see, I changed the date up here to January to December of last year because that's the period that I want to concentrate on right now. So anyway, these are the six transactions within that particular period that they're saying I need to deal with. So what I can do is, since I know all of these need to be coded as some kind of income category, I'm going to go ahead and click right here in this box, and that's going to select everything. Now I have two things that I can do right here. I can either ask the client, which if we do that, that's going to open up a create a request that you can send to the client. And basically this is similar to the client request in the work tab. I don't know if this is actually connected to the work tab. I haven't tested it out. I would imagine it might be. If not, then we need to actually make sure that we submit feedback to Intuit and tell them that they need to have this connected to that. So that way it can be kept track of. So anyway, what it does is it provides a list of the different items that they can actually look up and then they can respond back to you. You want to make sure that the notify client button is turned on so that way when you share those with them, they can actually get the email and respond back to you accordingly. We're not going to do anything with this, so I'm going to get out of it. And the second thing that we can do is if we know where these items need to be categorized, we can go ahead and click on the reclassify button here. And I know that all these are basically commissions. So that's the account I'm going to put here. And so this is an income account that I'm going to use to code these. And then once I apply all these, then all of those go away. And so now what we can do is since we've dealt with all those, we can go ahead and click on done. And that'll show that it's done in here. We can roll that up and get that out of the way. So similar is the transactions without payee. Similar concept here. These are all expenses and primarily the ones I want to deal with are the meals expense ones because those are correct, but they need payees. And again, you can go through that same process as client. And then you can also click on this to add the payee. And I know which payee I'm going to use. I use actually a generic payee and it looks like I have two different payees that are similar. So I'll have to address that at some point. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and do it as miscellaneous meal vendors. Once I apply that, then those should go away as well. So that way you can see what the other choices are. I'll go ahead and select everything else in here. You can actually batch void or delete those if you need to. And again, you can add the pays just like we did here. Or again, you can go in here and ask the client and it'll give you a list to send them again, make sure that that notify client button is turned on. So we are going to just ignore this, get out of that. And for now we're done with that. 
But as you can see, as you deal with these things, it, it goes down to zero. And for this one, I'm just gonna put waiting. So that way that shows that I have actually addressed some of these, but I'm not quite done with that. Here we also have an undeposited funds that's been identified. Let's say that this sales receipt has not been deposited and that's kind of strange that it wouldn't be. But again, in this case, we're going to show you the options that you have with that are basically the same. We can go through and ask client or we can go ahead and record the deposit. And since I highly suspect that this may not be correct, and you can't always assume that just because it's identified as such that it's going to be what they're suggesting, you have to do more research, maybe this would be a time to go ahead and do waiting, okay? So if we had any unapplied payments, then we could do the same thing, but we have nothing to review here. So we can go ahead and click on done for this, and then, that way we can go on and deal with any additional items that we have. Now I did a video on additional items as the first video in my series. You may want to go back and watch that because I have some special treatments on how I use this section. But anyway, this is all I have for y'all. Hopefully this helps you. Go ahead and have a wonderful week. See you soon and take care everybody.